I grew up on a soap opera between the ages of 11 and 17. And because of that, because I spent so much time in the public light, I often felt like I needed something private and personal. When I turned 16, I was really interested in getting my nipples pierced. And I talked to um, a cast member on General Hospital who said she would drive me to the Venice Boardwalk uh, to get it done, but that she couldn't sign off for it because she'd feel bad. Well, you have to have an adult to do this, so how am I going to do it? You just have to have someone sign off. So I was looking for someone that, oh, maybe I'll, it'll look like a parental figure, maybe like my dad. And uh, what I found was a homeless guy who was sleeping on a bench, and he smelt like, you know, rotting pineapple or something. And I sort of poked him and said, is it weird if I ask you to, if I give you $10, will you help me um, get something pierced? He s s sort of went, yeah, yeah, uh, which is a yes in, in my language. I couldn't have found a more homeless looking homeless person. And so we went into this, uh, we went into the shop and I said, hi, I would like to purchase two nipple rings, please. And they said, okay, we need a parent. This is my dad, Johnny Mixton. Okay, let's see if he can write his name out. The guy wrote his name out, uh, whatever it was, it was cl very close and he could totally spell. I said, okay, you can uh, just wait here. Okay, I won't tell your mother. That's good, don't do that. So my friend Becky, who's on the soap opera with me, uh, came in and held my hand, and they pierced them. They pierced both of my nipples really quick, one and two, and um, came out. The guy had puked all over the floor in the shop. That was really, that was really disconcerting. But Becky and I helped clean up his throw up, got him back on his feet, paid the shop, and paid him his ten dollars. <laughs> helped him back out to the bench on the boardwalk and. Um, thanked him and the last thing that he said to me was just so you know I don't approve of this and that was it and we went our separate ways but you know it's it's ironic because years later I uh, I took them out in the shower one day I just got sick of them and I took them out and I was naked in the shower and I thought a lot about that homeless man in that moment as I was taking those rings out Are you looking for magic in all the wrong places? Hmm? Are you lonely? Depressed? Financially ruined? Are you fat? Are you? If buying a house is I see you! I'm, I'm here for the house, actually. Prices. What did they die for? So I've heard. You know, there's a, uh... <clears throat> You mean secrets? <laughs> well, you know, everybody's got their secrets. Be careful, Vicky. Things are not always what they seem. This place, this house, it could change everything. I have to think of my music, Danny. Vicky, he's lying to you. Run for your life. Skeletons, they class a day to keep away. Yeah, we do, but skeletons here. Oh!